website. Um, and when you come here, uh, you'll put in your username and password to get started. Uh, you would have set that up when you first registered. And then the next thing we'll see here is the Start Here page. This page will give us updates um, on the textbook as well as the workbook. It gives us a brief overview um, of what we talk about in a textbook, but uh, a brief overview as to where we should get started with the program. Okay, so we're going to evaluate the situation with you know the budget, establish a plan with our repayment plan and monitor progress. We can do that with our repayment plan as well and a couple of other tools that are available to us. So before we get started, uh, some of the things we'll need is a typical bank statement, something that isn't out of the ordinary. Um, so we won't want to use uh, a month where we might have had extraordinary expenses or uh, you know, a, a month in which we were paid a bonus at work. Uh, typical pay stub. Again, not something that would uh, show extra hours that we wouldn't normally get or one that doesn't show enough hours. And then our latest credit card statements. With that, what we'll do is we'll go to the budget. What we'll notice here is that when we start with the budget, the first thing we'll look at is our income. So what we'll do is we'll determine how much uh, or how often, I should say, we get paid on a monthly basis. If it's weekly, then we'll have four different fields to complete, one for each paycheck that we receive. So we'll have four paychecks in front of us, or bi-weekly, for example, and we'll have two. Okay. In this case, we'll, we'll put in our income of $1,200 for the one week, 16 for what we get paid a second time, uh, two weeks later. There might be different reasons for, this, uh, for these numbers to be so different. Uh, one could be that we make a lot of contributions to a savings plan through our employer and that might come off just on one paycheck and not the other. Moving along we'll input our housing expenses as well as our living expenses, car expenses and other debt obligations. So just to um, keep this rolling fairly quickly we'll put in our rent of $800 monthly and that'll be due on the first. Uh, we might have renter's insurance of say $30 and that'll be monthly and we'll say that comes out on the last day of the month. Um, food and household supplies, we'll say that we spend $600 a month. It'll give us an annual figure. Medical, dental, we'll, we'll say we spend $250 a year. Um, clothing, dry cleaning, and maybe we'll put in $50 a month there. Personal care, haircuts, manicures, so on. We'll say another fifty dollars. Uh, coffee subscription. So, let's say we five dollars a day, one hundred fifty dollars a month. So we'll say that's what we spend on a monthly basis. Dining out. Let's say we spend four hundred dollars, hundred dollars a week. This is forty-eight hundred dollars. We'll go on vacation. A nice big vacation once a year. Twenty-five hundred dollars a year. And donations, let's say from our last tax return, we know we've contributed, say, $500 a year. And then gifts at Christmas time, probably overspend there, so say, $1,000. Uh, we'll put any courses in car. Let's uh, put in our Nissan car with, say, we owe another $12,000. Our payment is $300 monthly. And that payment, say, comes out on the 15th. And that rate is 9%. We'll put in our credit card. We'll say we owe $7,500, $200 a month. We'll say that comes out early in the month, 19.9%. Uh, student loan, $12,000, $500 a month. That'll be the first. That's at 12.6%. Mastercard, save ten thousand dollars. That's three hundred dollars monthly. We'll say that comes out on the thirtieth of the month, and that's ten percent. What we can do is, if we need more, say show more, give us more fields. In this case, what we'll do is we'll press calculate, and we'll discuss the following page in our next video.